Okay. But then next he says, oh, this is the, the time of Jacob's trouble. Well, again, where do we find the term time of Jacob's trouble in scripture? Only in Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7. And it says, alas, that day is great that there is none like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Okay. That has nothing to do with the seven year period in the end times that we're talking about. So they're just grabbing this verse from way out of context, Jeremiah 30 verse seven, rip it out of context and just make time of Jacob's trouble just apply to whatever you want it to apply to. No, uh, it's a day, a one day that he's referring to, not some seven year period of tribulation or whatever. And then again, this brings us back to, of course, the big problem with the pre-tribbers is that usually they have a wrong understanding of Israel and the Jews, and they think that the tribulation is all about the Jews. It's the time of Jacob's trouble. And you'll get a lot of this with Charles Lawson. In the first three sermons I listened to, you know, in a lot of the ramblings that went on that had nothing to do with the rapture, it's just a lot of Jew this, Jew that, just Judaizing, rambling, because he is one of these that thinks that the Jews are God's chosen people. All right, just want to show you a clip of Anderson's double standards when it comes to the uh, quote unquote the Great Tribulation. And he says that, oh, the, the phrase time and of trouble is not in reference to quote the tribulation. And the double standard is, is that the word the tribulation is not, it's never used in reference to this time, coming time period. Let me show you. In about 18 minutes and 42 seconds in, he says it. Okay. But then next he says, oh, this is the, the time of Jacob's trouble. Well, again, where do we find the term time of Jacob's trouble in scripture? Only in Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7. And it says, It's kind of funny because he says, where do we find the term time of Jacob's trouble? Okay, where do we find the term the tribulation, the great tribulation used in reference to this coming time period? The word tribulation is found in the Bible, no doubt about that. But nor does the Bible ever use the tribulation as a title for this coming time period. Give me a break. Let's continue. The last that day is great, that there is none like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Okay, that has nothing to do with the seven-year period in the end times that we're talking about. So there's Okay, so what is it about then? He, he doesn't explain what it's about. He just says it's a day, but he doesn't explain what it's about. And by the way, one day for God is a thousand years for us. So... I mean, it's just ridiculous. I mean, what? So, if it's not in reference to the uh, "quote unquote" great tribulation, what is it in reference to then? Time of Jacob's trouble, you know? Okay, I mean, it's just ridiculous. Grabbing this verse from way out of context, Jeremiah thirty verse seven, rip it out of context and just make "time of Jacob's trouble" just apply to whatever you want it to apply to. No. Uh, it's, you, see, it's how he's, you see how he's mocking scripture? Time of Jacob's trouble. You know, just completely, just, he's a mocker, you know? And again, what is it talking about if it's not talking, okay, so maybe, okay, if it's not talking about the tribulation, what is it talking about then? What is the time of Jacob's trouble? He doesn't explain it. It's a one day that he's referring to, not some seven year period of tribulation or whatever. And then again, this brings us back to, of course, the big problem with the pre-tribbers is that usually they have a wrong understanding of Israel and the Jews. Yeah, of course, because he's, he's replaced with theology. He thinks that, because again, Matthew 24, he, he, like in this video, he goes to Matthew 24, it's clearly written to the Jewish people. Let me show you some proof on that. Um, so I'm going to show you that Matthew 24 is written to the Jews, and knowing that, post drivers obviously know that Matthew 24 is clearly to the Jewish people. They have to, they have to basically say that, okay, well, that means we replace the Jews. So, you see, replacement theology and post-trib rapture go hand in hand. Anyone who is post-trib must also become replacement theology, because Matthew 24 is are always their go-to passage, and it's to the Jewish people, so you have to say, okay, well, we've replaced the Jews. Let me show you that. Matthew 24, verse 16. Then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains. Uh, what are Christians doing in Judea? I'm talking about the Jews. Uh, go down to verse twenty. It says, "But pray you that it says, but pray ye, I'm not good at reading. I'm not good at reading stuff on a computer. But pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. Uh, what are Christians doing observing the Sabbath? We're not. It's talking to the Jewish people. So it's just it's just ridiculous. This this non dispensational, you know, just this heresy of oh, you know, it it's uh, not it's the tribulation, not the time of Jacob's trouble. Okay." Again, my question, if, if 
the time of Jacob's trouble is not in reference to the quote unquote the Great Tribulation, what is that in reference to then? So anyway, you know, just just had the point that out. I mean, he's such a heretic. It's ridiculous. So anyway, God bless you. Goodbye.